super happy that I went out and I got some life insurance because now if I die, well not if I die, when I die, because we're all going to go one day somehow, you know, it's like inevitable. But when I die, my family will have a little something something to, you know, get me a casket or an urn, depending on what they want to do. I won't be here, so I don't really care. But it's nice that I have life insurance now. This is really adult content for me, you know. I am adulting and I love that for myself. If you're a young person and you don't have insurance yet, life insurance or whatever, I think you should start sorting that out because your people are going to be very upset. Well, not upset, but sad. They're going to be double sad when you die because you're dead and you don't have anything to contribute to your own funeral. Don't, don't be that person, all right? Get some insurance. I remember back in high school when I just started to wear my glasses and everybody wanted to try them on. I was like, why do you want to try on my glasses and stretch it out with your big face? Like, if you want to wear glasses, go and get your own. I'm just trying to see. Leave me alone. And I could never understand why they would teach us trigonometry in high school because nobody talks about scalene or isosceles today. It's almost as if they have become irrelevant. So why would you try to burn that information into my frontal lobe? I feel like I went through like probably three personality shifts because of trigonometry. That's when I had my first meltdown in high school. And to this day, I haven't heard anybody bring up scalene or isosceles. They don't talk about them in the news. They really don't. What they really should have been doing was teaching me how to do my taxes. Because up to this day, I still don't know how to do my taxes. But no, they wanted to teach me about angles and triangles and fractions. Because that's so important today. I feel like I was robbed of my time and my peace. And I want it back. I want it back trigonometry. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but I feel as if I come on the internet and my life is comic relief to you people, but I don't really feel any way about it. I feel like it's destiny, you know, because how else would you explain it? How else would you explain you watching this video of me right now if it wasn't destined to be? We were destined to cross paths. So start paying me for this therapy. So I just realized that this is going to be my first summer outside of school. I graduated last year, so now I'm going to have to work every summer until I retire. And I don't know if, if this 9 to 5 thing is really working out for me. It's not my speed. It's really not my... Well, on, I don't want to get emotional on the internet because I always laugh at people when they come on here and cry. Hold on, let me just get my emotions in check. But how do they expect me to work every summer? I've never done that before. If you're single for a long period of time and the relationships just don't work out, chances are, you know, you might be the problem. Maybe people just don't want you. And that's okay because that's just how the cards are dealt. Don't cry. Use this time to invest in yourself, build yourself, learn to love yourself because that's who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Oh, and by the way, you know, this is like really a piece of cloth. I went to the cloth store and I bought it today. I know somebody said that it looked like me I get ready for work. Obia. But I don't know what to say to that, to be honest. But I saw it and it spoke to me. I got it. I put it on the wall. I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but... You know, I'm trying to set up a little space where I can, you know, like come on the internet and say stuff and do stuff. But that's just me checking in with you guys, all right? Once again, thank you so much for all the love and the support. Peace. Stop sending me chain messages. This one is for the WhatsApp auntie specifically. Because it's almost as if you refuse to pick sense out of nonsense. You read a chain message and it says, send this to 10 people or somebody you know is going to die. Do you live where I live? Do you live where I live? Because people perish regardless. If you send a message or if you don't send it, people are going to go. So you can keep it. 
you can eat the message you don't have to send it to me because it's a no i am this close to blocking some of you more wild things really don't even make sense this long paragraph of foolishness and you send it to me why i'm sick of it i could block you Question, do you think God cares if we spell his name with a capital G or a common G? Because sometimes I don't even know. Is he spell checking my messages? Is he reading my messages? <laughs> mm -mm. I just got a care package from Lunchpan JA. It's a big box and it kind of feel heavy too. I can't wait to see what's inside. If you want a chance to win your very own, go over to the page, follow them, tag three people for the most recent post, and that's a chance or a valid entry for your chance to win your very own care package like what I'm about to unbox for you guys. If you don't know who Lunchpan JA is, local company that specializes in getting local foods and apparel to you anywhere in the world. All right, let's see what's on the inside of the box. See, I have my little spiffy tool to get inside of it. Some snacks. Look at porridge mix. Oh. I guess this will go into the porridge. Oh, I'm gonna get more porridge. And you see, we have a lot of Jamaican snacks in here, the banana chips, zoomers, and all of these things. Check them out. I feel like when we fall asleep, we die for a little bit. And then God says, wake up. You can't have too much of a good thing. And we're back in this rat race called life. Nobody is ugly. Don't you ever say that. You might not be appealing to my eyes, but you're not ugly. Love yourself. Sometimes I'm scrolling through social media and I really have to wonder to myself, are some of you people going through the same pandemic I am subscribed to? Because I see you out here and you're really doing the most. Like you, you, you're doing it all, the, the whole works. And I'd be lying if I say I didn't want to be out there getting wild and jiggy with you. But I, I really just don't want to die from COVID. And I, I, I mean, I don't know if I, I would bounce back if I catch it, but I might kill somebody by a, a accident and I don't want that on my shoulders. That's just too much. So I have to live vicariously through you. I'm really caught up between the two, but I really want to be with you out there doing the things them. And how many times do I need to tell you? If you're getting mixed signals, that means that they simply don't want you like that. Everybody knows what they want and who they want it from. No one is confused. Alright? So if you're getting mixed signals, leave. Them no want you. Them no want you, no? Them no want you. You know, Earth is very hostile. And I don't like it down here because it's been giving me a lot of trauma. Imagine being born only to hear that one day you're going to die. And I didn't sign up for any of this. I tell you the world. It... <sighs> you seen this? Or am I the only one? I don't have the time to be going back and forth with people who disturb my peace. Once you have gotten the snip snip out of my life, you are going to go. I don't have the time, the patience, nor the values to deal with you anymore. We're done. Because all I'm saying is that I was not in existence. And then poof, without my consent, I was here. And I don't know what is, what is this even? What is this? It's confusing me. It's like really confusing and I'm tired. I'm tired. My toxic trait is that I don't respond to my messages. Half the time, I'm not even busy. I just choose not to respond. And I don't feel bad about it. Wear your mask. A while ago, I was in the town on my way home, like I normally do, and I heard a voice say, young man, go up in the truck. So me, I said, wait, other two by you, that many know, say, I know them places. Uh, look round, it was the police. Telling people to go up in the truck because they never have on the mask. I don't need to put on the mask. I don't to take it away. Ow, I just cut my finger. 
and it's hurting me. Oh, my poor baby. Do you need a band-aid? I love you so much. Ow, I cut my finger. If it's your finger and you're doing it like that, imagine what you would do to mine. Go and wash it off under the pipe and drink some tea. Just in case you don't have any friends and nobody checks up on you, I just want to let you know that you're doing fine and I see you giving me your best and your best is good enough, alright? It's going to be okay. And don't send me any voice notes that are over one minute. If you can't wrap up what you're trying to say in 30 seconds or less, chances are you shouldn't be sending it to me. Because my brain is tired and I go through a lot. When you send me them one minute epistles, you're stressing me out. If the thing gone over a minute, that's not even a voice note anymore. That's a song. Send it to the radio station. Have them broadcast it. Because that must be a new hit single. I'm not trying to listen to a podcast. You're sending me a voice note that's over one minute in length. What's wrong with you? I'm realizing that the older I get, the less I actually want to deal with other people because human beings are draining. I feel like if you get me, you get me. But if you don't, then you just don't. I don't feel as if I should be wasting time or energy explaining to you why I am the way I am and why I do what I do. You know, like I'm just here to live and vibe, that's it. Like, nothing more, nothing special, so just leave me alone. Is either you with it or you're not. But I don't have the energy to be going back and forth with people over stuff like that. And I don't mind cutting you off if you can't accept that. So, that's just that. And I try to encourage people all the time. Don't catch the wrong feelings. I only catch two form of feelings, hungry and money filler. And if you don't know what money filler is, it's that feeling you catch when you want some money because I need the money to buy the food. It kind of goes hand in hand. But I see some of you out here catching feelings for every and anything. And I'm beginning to wonder if some of you are okay because I see some of you catching feelings for fictional characters. And I don't even know if I should feel sorry for you or knock you upside the head. But I don't promote violence. So more than likely I'm going to feel sorry for you. But just be careful people because things and times are strange now. Do you still have energy to start a new relationship? No. Right now my love engine is running on fumes. And the radiator is overheating. I think I could use some brake fluid too. And you know, I feel as if my toxic trait superpower is that I can cut off people with little to no effort. It really doesn't take that much out of me to block you. Zero energy required. And I don't know if this is the space that I should be in, but it feels so good. See that million dollar idea that you have? You should do it. And it doesn't matter if people think you look stupid while you do it. Because chances are they think you look stupid anyway. So you literally have nothing to lose. What are you going to do? Not look stupid and miss out on a million dollars? Or look a little bit stupid and make a million dollars? The choice is up to you. Stop ignoring the red flags just because you want to see the good in other people. That's dumb. And it's going to cost you. You cannot fix people. That's not your job. If you like me, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Perish the thought kill it don't love me love jesus and love me through jesus i have to go to heaven i have to i heard that after jesus comes the place is going to be extremely hot because of all of the fire and the brimstone and my thing is that i cannot deal with the heat me coming like white foal as soon as the place start get warm me start get nervous me start get anxious because me and heat are not free i work under the ac five days a week and plus when me come home i have to turn on the fan pan the highest speed because me cannot manage the heat so me don't know how me the fire and the brimstone would i work out don't you if me not make it which i hope i do god would have to work out one special kind of plan when me come up upon the weekend come cool out and then come back don't you so because me can't manage the heat emancipate yourself from being bad-minded it makes you age like bread you know that when you hate other people it doesn't add nor take away from their essence right 
So you're literally just burning up your energy. Especially if the people don't know you. I mean, I don't know you, so why would I care if you like me or not? Find a hobby. Do something with your time. Look at you. Aging like bread. Because you're bad mind. Please don't ask me anything. Chances are I don't know. So don't ask me. I don't practice to give my friends and family unsolicited advice anymore. Because I've realized that people will do what makes them happy no matter how stupid it is. It's not right, but it's okay. I'm not here to judge them. It's just dumb vibes and love. That's it. You know, some days I get up and all I really want is for somebody to walk in my back. Like just walk along my spine and crick it in all the right places. Because like I want my back to be like this. But it's kind of like this, you know, it's a do it one for do and I really want it to be like this. People who used to catch flights instead of catching feelings. What are you guys catching right now? Because I haven't seen or heard from your group in a little while and I'm kind of concerned. If you need help, post a passport, do something, but I need to hear from you. Who remembers when peanut cake was for $50? I paid a hundred dollars for this today. The price of everything is going up so fast, you can't even afford diabetes anymore. Fifty dollar me used to pay for this and now it's a hundred. Goodness, I'm gonna stop by it. You know, some days I say to myself that I should probably start working out, but then I remember that God is coming soon. I can see it in the signs of the times. So it makes no sense. I waste my time and energy building a new body, but when God comes, it's going to go to waste. Because who's going to look at this body in heaven? I can't flaunt it up there now. I can't have anybody lusting after me. So I'm just going to have to wait until God comes and he gives me the new design. And I just work with that. It makes no sense now. Like if I didn't start working out before, it makes no sense I start now because God is coming. So might as well I wait. You know that mosquitoes love me? They can't get enough of me. I feel like I'm insatiable to them. So they just keep on biting and biting and biting. And honestly, I don't know why they enjoy my fluids that much. But I let them. You know, because everybody have to eat a food. Leave people alone if you don't genuinely want to be their friend. Don't befriend people only because you want to gain from them. Either it be materialistic or it might be something to do with status. You start par with people so people feel as if you are in a certain circle and you're living a certain lifestyle. Do not do it. Being fake does not pay. Stop telling people your business and learn how to keep some things private. Not everybody is your friend and not everybody wants the best for you. As my grandmother would say, under every kin teeth I laugh. Some people will smile in your face but stab you behind your back. Some want to chat too much and if you keep on the mouth, stop walk and tell people no business. Alright? Great. Sharp and spicy bun and cheese. It's really just bun and cheese with scotch bunny pepper in there. And to show you that I'm not playing, look at this. <clears throat> so good. So good. Now put your hand to something. Try it. Try it and let me know. Don't allow the devil to use you. Recently, he was trying to trick me. He came to me in a very mysterious way. And you know what he said? He said to me, life is too short for you to be living like this, for you to be working this hard. You know what he was suggesting I do instead? He was suggesting that I start to scam people and take their monies. That is what he wanted me to do. And of course, the thought crossed my mind because I can put on a good American accent if I need to. However, I was reminded, I don't know if it was by the Holy Spirit or whatever, but I was reminded that me being me, I would definitely get caught. And if I should end up in the prison system, I wouldn't do well. I really wouldn't do well in there because my voice is too high pitched and God, he knows. I wouldn't do well in there at all. Get, no, I get emotional. Have you ever looked at your significant other? You know, you look a girlfriend or you look a boyfriend and you thought to yourself, you know, wow, this one is kind of ugly. No looks, just vibes. But you find it hard to leave them over something as petty as them being hard to look at. I know you feel trapped. You feel like you have nowhere to go, no one to be with. So you are pray to yourself that so this person give you a little bun under the quiet and you find out and you have a good reason to leave them. 
I see you and I sympathize with you. And I hope that everything goes according to plan. All right? All right. Whenever I get a haircut, I feel like my magical powers are unlocked. Look at this. I have waves in my hair. Waves like the ocean. They go like this. Don't mind the powder in my ear over here. So the barber almost cut it off. He was like, eh, with the shear. And I was like, oh, no, don't do that. And like it bled a little bit. But it's okay now. I have waves. What are you doing to ensure that your mental health is intact? Are you crying enough? Are you expressing yourself? Are you feeling your feelings? Is the pastor praying for you? Are you being active to ensure that up here so stays intact? Because I know that sometimes when we bring up the um, topic of mental health, some people are like, Lord God, I don't up on the boy, I don't put up on the girl. And that is not always the case. All right, sometimes don't be on people, yes, but sometimes people are happy to be rough up here. And I hope that we are taking the right measures. I hope that we are being active. I hope that we are being intentional with taking care of what's happening up here. All right, everybody stay safe and take care of your mental. Welcome to On Plate. I'm your host, Cornbread Williams. This week on Plate, we have none other than the tastiest cheese. Cheese, so good to have you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Cheese, tell me, how does it feel to be on one of the hottest shows right now? A true Jamaican love story. You know, it's an amazing opportunity. When Boise called me, him said the role was already mine. I just needed to show up on set. So he yeah, said to me, no other cheese could have gotten the role. Which other cheese you know apart from tasty cheese? Talk things. So you feel <laughs> as if you're famous now? Yeah. Cause I'm here the hottest cheese out. Anytime them see me in the supermarket, them scream cheese. Like, like see a picture of them at it. <laughs> so when can we expect the next episode? You have to ask boys, you know, me can't tell you. <laughs> are you with, are you with Bon? Stop asking me them questions, them man. You know I owe it go already. You yeah. heard it here. I don't know if you guys noticed my bottle of $50 just stacking up around here. But this is the amount of $50 I got back in one day. I don't know who tell them people you say me a safe. But then you can chill out with the $50 then please. I mean I'm my money still. But goodness. Goodness. Enough $50. This, no? Enough. If you sent me a message and I didn't respond, please don't take it personally. Sometimes people don't understand how much energy it takes for me to have a full-blown conversation. Whenever people send me like WhatsApp messages or DMs, it's almost as if they're knocking on the door of my soul. And I don't want to let people in. It, it gives me some amount of anxiety and discomfort when I have to give up my peace just to like deal with other people and it's not you it's me well really and truly are you but i just don't want you to feel bad but please don't take it personally you're not the only person i'm not responding to all right don't force yourself to be in a relationship and never force yourself to date other people i've seen it done before where people get boyfriend and girlfriend all because it's the in thing i know what happened to them they turned out to be flops don't be a flop wait on the lord I'm never trying to speak to people on the road. When you see me in the streets, best believe I'm either trying to go to work or go home. I don't necessarily want to be having conversations in the middle of this pandemic. First of all, I cannot understand what you're saying underneath the mask because I'm a little bit deaf in the ears. So best believe that all me I hear is this one bag of mm, 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 under the mask. And when I do this, it's, it, it, it looks like I understand, but I don't really understand. I just want to go home. Like, I just want to leave the town. And you're killing me. You're killing me with your words. I want to go home. And you're killing me with your words. Like, please, talk to me on the internet. Send me a WhatsApp. I am never in the business of looking for new friends. If we vibe, we vibe. If we don't vibe, we don't vibe. But I trust the vibes because vibes never lie. And I know that some of you are evil individuals going about the place seeking whom you may devour because you are direct agents of the devil. So I'm not necessarily trying to, you know, like 
hugging her up and be close in arms or anything like that. I'm just protecting my energy and myself and my soul. You know, say some people are crosses. Some people are crosses. And the dangerous thing is that they don't know say them are crosses. Like you ever meet somebody and you have to question God, what kind of character development are you putting me through? Why I have to deal with these people? Because some people are crosses and they don't know. Them not know. Blow. Don't be afraid to cut me off. I am going to put my mental health over any friendship, family ship, or relationship. Once I find out that you are toxic, you are going to have to go. And if you think that I am toxic, cut me off after me no more than nobody else. Cut me off. If I had the opportunity to talk to God like face to face and have like a little interview session, I would ask him questions like, why do we have other planets but nobody lives on them? Isn't that like a waste of space? And like this God thing, how does that work? Like, did you will yourself into existence or did somebody like vote you in to be God? Because I know that there's like a trio, like a triunion thing, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Like when you made human beings, what were you thinking? Like, do you have a mind? Uh, um, why don't you have a wife? You know, things like that. I am in a very toxic situation right now. Um, it's with my job. It's a very nasty relationship where I have to work for money. And that's the only thing I'm doing it for, the money. Because I want to get out. I don't want to be, I don't want to live like this. Like, why am I not just being paid for me being me? I feel like we should just be paid for being us. You know, God is up there getting good quality content because a lot of this is very funny to me at least so I feel as if it's time I start getting money for for this this is like one of season three we need some 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 run me some money somebody need to run me some money you know like uh, I hate when parents are like I didn't raise you like this then who raised me Show me the stranger who came off of the street and raised your child. Show me. Hello my child. Hello parent. Are you going to buy food on the road? Yes, I'm in KFC. I'm about to get something to eat. <laughs> Could you get me something to eat as well? Do you have KFC money? Oh. There's food in the fridge. When Jamaicans say, Ma soon come, soon may never come. Is everybody feeling all right? Is everybody doing okay? Because I woke up this morning and to be honest, I feel a little bit off. I'm still not rich yet. Somebody told me that I'm rich in personality, but you can't spend personality. I need actual money to spend, please. So people with money, tell me how to get it, please. I'm ready to learn because I, I don't want to be not rich anymore. Sometimes I wonder, who was the first person to realize that we can drink milk from other animals? Like what was that person thinking? Did he or she just so happen to pass a cow and was like, oh, let me play with your titties real quick. And not only did that person squeeze on the cow's titties, they also drank the substance that came from it. These are some of the weirdest inventions I have ever seen. Start the slide, let's go. This is called a walking sleeping bag. Yes, some people sleepwalk, but you don't have to encourage it. This man literally look like Bigfoot and a pillowcase had a baby together and he is the offspring. I don't know. I'm not having no friends. I can't tell. This is a breast cushion. Yes, it's a real thing. Why would you even need a breast cushion? I, I guess your breasts fight at night when you're sleeping so you don't want them touching each other. I don't know. This is a butter stick, but I mean, I'm not really mad at it. I, I feel like... I can't see myself whipping it out and like buttering a piece of bread or so. I'm not mad at this one. This is an avocado saver. This one I'm actually mad at. This look like the pear put on some cracks and it don't even look good. And you know, um, I know it looks like my hairline is receding, but I promise I have a big forehead. That's it. My mommy said when I was younger, I used to fall on one spot right here. Like one spot media, one spot media. I wish that somebody told me this when I was younger. 
It's okay to not like other people and it's okay if they don't like you. It doesn't change the price of rice unless they sell rice and then raise the price of rice to spite you in some way, somehow. Do yourself a favor and start dating people who actually like you back. The world is full of too many uncertainties. We don't even know which new pandemic we are going to get or what catastrophic event is going to happen that will define our time and maybe depress us even more. The last thing you need to be doing is chasing somebody who won't even give you the bare minimum. I want better for you. And you probably never notice, but you don't have to be nice all the time. Like, be respectful, but you don't have to go out of your way to be nice because then you're being fake. Why be nice or try to be nice when you're not nice? You know, like, just be respectful and move on with your day. And stop draining your energy trying to convince people that, oh my gosh, I'm so sweet on the outside and the inside. No, you're not nice. Just be respectful and go. All right? I'm that kind of person. I'm respectful and then I go. But I try nice up myself with nobody. If God offered me a second chance to live this life all over again, I would tell him no. Because the people down here who are in charge do not know what they are doing. And the customer service is kind of poor. Highly would not recommend. I'm literally just here for the experience. Anyway, treachy pop, and I'm not coming back. Quick question. If, if somebody has COVID-19 and they fart on you, can you catch COVID-19 like that? Because I was outside today and somebody put on me. I don't know if the person put on me directly or if them fart in the vicinity but I could smell it I could smell it through the mask and it got me thinking if I can smell the poop through the mask I'm probably smelling the COVID-19 as well and I would be very disappointed if somebody poop for me and give me COVID-19 even though I have on my mask so please let me know um, if you can catch COVID-19 like that or maybe I'm just being paranoid I don't know let me know can somebody poop on you and give you COVID-19 if somebody ever tries to rob you Tell that person to stop. It is not nice and they do not have your consent to take your things. If they proceed to try and take your things, slap them on the wrist and say stop it. If they try to stab you or maybe shoot you, I don't know what the weapon is. Ow, oh goodness, ow. Am I the only person who is cold right now? I went outside without a shirt like I normally do and me have to run back in the house with immediate effect. Out there is so cold. My nipple them freeze up on me while I go in and almost drop off like two little marbles. So, I said, mm -mm. Me go back in the house, go put on clothes because I'm not catch up no chest cold for please nobody. Out there cold? I thought I was living in the Caribbean but I must be mistaken. If you see yourself as a creative person, my best piece of advice to you is to simply create. It's not a popularity contest. Likes don't validate how creative you are. And for the record, popularity and creativity are two separate things, all right? I need your opinion on something. Uh, do you like my shirt? It says, I watch Netflix rent free. Ugh. I just jumping so you can't see the whole design. There's like a, a B down here for Boise because I mean I did the design myself and I'm super proud of it. Like look at this. Tell me if you like it. I'm gonna start selling them like next week. I'm still working out the kinks. But let me know what you think. If somebody ever tries to rob you, tell that person to stop. It is not nice and they do not have your consent to take your things. If they proceed to try and take your things, slap them on the wrist and say stop it. If they try to stab you or maybe shoot you, I don't know what the weapon of choice will be. Let them know that it is illegal and it is against the law. Then you're going to give them what you have and run for your life. And you're going to run fast. Good morning, everybody. Look, look, I'm outside and I want to feature our tomato tree. You see that? One small tomato, two small tomatoes. We have a broomstick here, so I hold it up. But that's all right. We are improvising. And then we have the big tomato, Dave, under here. So do not squeeze up my tomato because we want them to eat you remember that bible story noah and the ark when everybody got up on the boat and you know the place flooded 40 days 40 nights so on so on sometimes i sit and i wonder why did noah allow the cockroach to go onto the boat like noah really stand up 
I met the cockroach, them crawl past him, go up on the boat. Like him couldn't step on them or shoot them or something. Because to what purpose do cockroaches serve more than to wreak havoc and cause destruction unprovoked? You yeah, go about your business and all of a sudden these cockroaches pop up and then worse again, him can't fly. Well, I think all of them can fly. Maybe that is how them reach upon the boat, them fly up on the boat when nobody never see it. Because I don't believe, say, no, I stand up. I make the cockroach them crawl up on the boat. That don't make no sense to me. It don't make mother love for ask him wagwan. Listen to me and listen carefully. Don't feel bad if you don't have it all together because literally nobody knows what is going on. We're just out here on a floating rock doing what rock people do until our time comes. What's up everybody? I am outside today and do you see what I see? Look at these. Look here man. My gosh, what? Ah. It's real, too. Oh, I am blessed. 